guys, Coach Enoch here of Team Florida Track Club. I'm here today to talk to you about aqua jogging. Aqua jogging is a great form of cross training that's non-impact and can get you through spots where you're injured or just looking for some additional training. I often get asked questions like, do I need an aqua jogging belt? Do I, is it okay to run in a pool where I can touch the bottom? What's the correct form? Well, I'm here to cover all those things here today. So first up, aqua jogging belt. This is my handy aqua jogging belt. I think it's worth the investment. If you're looking for one, you can find the link below. If not, you can totally aqua jog without a belt. Maybe a little more difficult at first, but you'll get it down, so stick with it. Next thing is running or aqua jogging in a pool that either A, you can touch the bottom, or B, you can't. If you can't touch the bottom, then you want to use the technique that we're going to illustrate here today. That's proper aqua jogging. It's a little different form. If you're in a pool where you can touch the bottom, this is generally better for maybe some cross training to add something extra to your training, but not if you have a lower leg injury. There you want to find a pool where you can't touch the bottom. So for where you are touching the bottom, look for more of a normal running technique where you're pumping, hitting the ground. If you're not touching the bottom, that's what we're going to cover today. Um, some other thing people say is aqua jogging is really boring. Is it even worth the time? And I'll say to that is yes. Uh, I actually had a patch in high school where I had some shin issues, kind of going through some growth spurts, and I aqua jogged for over a month straight during track season, came back, ran a PR a week later in the 1600. It really hits your cardiovascular system. It's running specific as opposed to some other types of cross training, so that's really great. Gets the legs going in that same pattern, kind of get, get, keeps, you, keeps you on point, so when you come back, you're ready to run. Another thing to make it a little more interesting, since people feel it can be pretty boring, you're in a pool, you're not moving real fast, you're not seeing new things, um, is to break out some music. That can help. Another great way to make it more effective, but also more interesting, is to do interval training. I highly recommend programs and different workouts on your watch, using that so that way you're not having to you know, keep track of time. Program the workouts on your Garmin. Things like uh, you know, two minutes on, minute easy. Four minutes on, minute easy. Eight minutes on, two minutes easy. Just start with a light warm up. Go into one of these type of interval trainings. Don't stress too much about a specific plan. Just do a variation of different types of interval training with pretty short rest. Generally, for shorter intervals, maybe a half rest. If you're doing a minute, you know you can do 30 seconds easy. If you're doing longer intervals, then maybe a fourth or even an eighth rest to really keep that heart rate up with just short rest to make sure you're keeping on the form. Let's head to the pool and get started. Before you get in the pool. I recommend practicing your technique. You want to focus on working in a circular motion, driving your knee up first and then sweeping down behind. First, I'm going to illustrate the incorrect form. Here you can see I'm just pumping my knees up and down in a quick motion. This doesn't hit all the muscle groups and is very easy to do and you won't get a correct workout. Instead, you want to focus on a windmill motion as illustrated here. You can see I'm driving my knees up and then sweeping them all the way back, more in a circular motion as opposed to up and down. This will really hit the legs, giving you a full workout and making it very difficult. You can see the arms are over-exaggerated, pumping behind. Focus on this movement. Make sure to keep a slight forward lean and point your toes to increase resistance. This will keep you moving forward and make the workout even harder. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh, my God.